Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back, or welcome to another Bangs Audio Review. Today, we have the highly anticipated SimGot Super Mix 4. I don't know how I got this so quick. It was not sent to me by, by uh, SimGot for review. I purchased it on AliExpress. Let's see, how long did it take to get here? 10? 10 days? So that was over two weeks ago. I don't know. I, I know a lot of people are waiting. Um, and let me tell you something. If you're waiting, you're going to be rewarded. <laughs> Just get that out of the way. So anyway, let's talk about the Super Mix 4, shall we? Unbox and specs to start things off. It is a 1DD, 1BA, 1 Planar Magnetic, and 1PZT Quad Brid. That's four. Quad four so I uh, yeah there, there's a there's a set similar to this that I own um, interestingly huh I wonder what that could be maybe we should ask uh, my friend hijinx 87 oh yeah <laughs> it's the quintet same configuration except one more BA in that one so yeah that's gonna be the comp thank you to hijinx 87 for that suggestion that was brilliant Anyway, back to the Super Mix 4. In the box, the box is, well, kind of like the Quintet. It's pretty um, pretty simple, not too big. Inside, you get the IMs right here. Underneath that is a, well, let's pull this box out, it's easier. Underneath that, you get uh, one, one single set of ear tips. <laughs> one, count them. Uh, yeah. So normal bore silicone, it's got a nice stiff stem in it. I mean, they're not bad. They just, as usual, you know, the medium fit my right ear and not my left ear and the large was too big for my left ear. So I could not use the stock silicone tips for my testing, unfortunately. Um, quality control card and user manual. Not a lot of information in there, honestly. I was kind of expecting more, but um, I did look up the driver type uh, for the, at least for the dynamic driver, is a uh, 10 millimeter LCP or polymer of some kind. So there you go. Uh, the rest of them remain a mystery, as does what they are responsible for in the frequency response, but doesn't matter because they sound great together. It sounds like one super single driver. Thus the name Super Mix 4. I, I understand it now, it makes total sense. In this box, you get the case. Get that out of the way. The case is slightly upgraded from the EA500 series, and so far is that it has a gold zipper. That's really it. <laughs> But anyway, hey, at least they tried, right? Um, and then the cable, I made a mistake. I thought it was the same as the uh, EA500 and LM cables, but it's not. It's an upgrade. I don't know the specs of it, but I can tell just from the feel of it, the thickness of it, um, that it is definitely an upgraded cable over those. So that was my mistake. My apologies, SimGot. Um, the cable is great, you know, it had it been finished in 4.4, it would have definitely been utilized for testing, but it was not. So I'm going to do a quick little rant to, to SimGot and then I'm going to be done. Okay. This is a $150 IEM. You are swimming with the big fish now. Okay. Things like basically in that range, CKL VXD 41. Canera, Celeste Relentless, the Eden 2, the oh, the Quintet's a little bit more, but so two things that you need to do, SimGot. One, include more ear tips. Please, at least two sets. Okay, if you don't want to bother with the foams because you don't think that they're good for the set, that's fine. But give us two options. Okay, that's one. In this price range, it's expected. Number two, nowadays, it's also expected to either have a 4.4 millimeter balanced termination option for the cable or a modular cable. I understand if you don't want to incur the expense of a modular cable, you should very easily be able to offer a 4.4 balanced cable with this set. That's it. That's it. That's the end of my rant. Okay, done. 
It's got a lot, lot of competition out there. So, whatever. There's your box. There's your unboxing. Specs, um, 7.2 ohm resistance, 120 decibel sensitivity. Frequency response from 8 hertz to 40 kilohertz. Obviously, um, the range that we'll hear is 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. Um, I don't think I hear 20 kilohertz. I'm not even sure I hear 16 at this point. But uh, anyway, that's normal range of human hearing. So they got that covered and then some. Interestingly, I've been saying this and I just came up with it on my own, but somebody came up with it before me and has done a study on it now. So I'm not sure where I saw it, but there is a study coming out based on how frequencies that are above and below our range of hearing can affect the frequencies within our range of hearing. I've always said that there could be something going on. So it actually might be beneficial to have a set that goes well above what you can hear and below what you can hear, right? It could, I'm just saying. So, and as I said, the uh, driver, sorry, off track, driver configuration, 10 millimeter DD, PZT, BA, planar magnetic. Good stuff, right? There's your unbox, your specs. Fit and finish wise, um, I give them an A, solid A. Medical grade 3D printed resin, as is the case with most IEMs these days, most not all. Uh, the faceplate is a CNC machined aluminum with a r slightly rosy gold uh, ring on it. It's not super rosy, but a little bit rosy. Maybe a tiny bit coppery. One ring to rule them all. This is the one ring, Frodo. Anyway, uh, yeah, sorry. I just thought it was appropriate because there's a ring on it, you know, and, um, well, there's a reason why I said that. And we'll get to it with our sonic impressions. But to finish the build, um, it is a nice build. It is finished extremely well. Everything is very smooth and well um, attached. I, I felt no weak points, including the... Um, connection point here is solid thank goodness nothing's going to fall off that is for sure the jelly cable works just great on it that's a recommendation should you want to get a 4.4 and the tips that you're looking at right now are the vocal um, these are the latex vocal tips from the Canera Idun Golden so I landed on those. Uh, other tips that did work well, Divinus Velvet tips, stock silicone tips from the Canera Celeste Relentless were good. See, that was more of a size thing. So those are slightly larger, like they're a larger medium. So those worked for me on these and sounded great. They're not super tip sensitive. You can see there's three acoustic tubes coming through. Um, I, I'd like to you know, keep those puppies free. Um, don't cover them up with a narrow bore tip, but that's my preference. Um, yeah, so there you go. It's a lovely build. It's a lovely package, case, cable's nice. If it were 4.4, that'd be perfect. Just some more tips, please. More nice quality tips, and that's it. On to Sonic Impressions. Um, this is where it gets good. This is where the Super Mix 4 really shines, and it should, right? I mean, what matters is how good it sounds and how well it plays our music because that's what we're all doing this for. So I can tell you that from bottom to top, as I like to say, this is an excellent, excellent set. Get a better look at the faceplate there for you. There we go. I will bring up my graph because I have indeed started graphing and I think it's going okay. It doesn't quite match their graph. Their graph is, you can't see it. It's a little more like dippy, you know, it's got a little bit more to it, but um, it is a sub bass over mid bass set. I'm actually going to insert the photo here, click, um, so you can see it better than me trying to show you a computer screen, but you get the idea. Sub bass over mid bass. The mids are not super recessed. The ear gain is fairly smooth. Um, not a not a huge you know huge curve there, and then the treble has got some really nice extension with a fairly slow drop off. Little peak here at 12k that adds, um, in my opinion, 
better detail retrieval, a little bit of sparkle and air, and a much more immersive soundstage than some other sets. Not as quite as crazy, like the ISNH-30 is kind of a freak, you know, it's like that's crazy how much stage there is, but this has definitely a good amount, satisfying, immersive head stage, for sure, right? So if I had a frequency response curve that was my target, which I have not come up with yet, it would look very close to this. It might have just a little bit more bump in the mid bass, one or two decibels. That's it. But the way this set is tuned, it doesn't really need it, and I'll, I'll tell you why. So going through the test tracks, um, the different genres, you know, I look for certain things. I look for how it handles the bass synth drops in uh, Slaughter to Prevail's Agony. And it was rumbling with these. I mean, no doubt. Felt it all the way into my chest. Fantastic. Along those lines, hip hop. Oh my God. Like Virginia Beach. Yeah, I felt like my head was shaking. It's a bass monster. In the sub bass, the mid bass, that rolls off just a little bit. It's not a bass tuck, right? It rolls off just a little bit as you can see in the graph, so that it's not an overwhelmingly bassy set. I would not call this a full-on bass head set. It just has very satisfying sub bass and very uh, well-defined and well sort of balanced mid bass. That allows it to slowly roll into the mids, which are clear, not even super warm, just really clear and detailed. Um, and then you've got the ear gain, which handles uh, what are the, the busy tracks like um, Soundgarden, Super Unknown, and uh, Roots Remain by Mastodon, and even I Don't Believe in Love, um, uh, which, God, that band always slips in my mind because I barely listen to them anymore. Uh, that would be Queensryche. Uh, sorry, guys. Um, those tracks, this handled really really well so did it have a weak point in my test tracks no it handled john coltrane like a beast it handled hendrix and pink floyd and led zeppelin like you felt like you're in the studio with these guys i mean it was impressive metal it kicks ass it's got a 9.5 out of 10 rating from me for metal because it played all of it. You know, like I have three, basically three tracks in a row from Mashuga, just broken up um, by Boca from Dreamcatcher, which also played really well. Um, and those three tracks from Mashuga are separated by a number of years and some, and, and quality, you know, uh, playback quality. So uh, from just CD quality to minimal high res to full on high res and all three tracks sounded freaking perfect on these. So it's, it's almost a perfect set for metal, but again, I'm not giving that perfect score until I get the perfect set. And that hasn't happened yet. It'll probably be perfect for everything else too. So we'll see. Probably can't afford that set yet. Anyway, um, hip hop, R and B, ugh. I mean, just so satisfying with the, the bass, the way that it's tuned. They did not have a weak point. They don't have a weak point in the frequency response. They don't have a weak point in genre playback. They're just great. The treble has got some sparkle and air to it. I would say, let's get into the comp now, because that makes the most sense. So its closest competition that I own and that I've previously reviewed is the Kiwi Ears Quintet. Thank you again, Hijinx87. Um, this is the, you know, quid brid, so it's got one more BA driver in it than the Supermix 4 has. I would say the advantage goes to the Quintet in just a couple of places. One of them is smoothness of treble. So you can see um, I've got the Canera Ace cable on it because I wanted a 4.4 high quality cable to do the comp. So that's there and then I use the same tips. So we're, we're as close as we can get, at least as I can get. Um, 
doing the AB AB tracks. I you know would play a track through with the Super Mix 4 and then play it on the quintet and then play the next track on the quintet and then put in the Super Mix 4 and kind of just alternated back and forth with that. What I got out of it was that the Super Mix 4 is um, it's a little bit more of an engaging, a little bit livelier presentation. The quintet is smoother and slightly more detailed in the treble. That is the main difference. I'll give the edge to the sub bass on the Super Mix 4. I give the edge to the treble on the quintet. Super Mix 4 as such, being that the treble's a little bit more energetic and not quite as smooth, um, coupled with that elevated sub bass, makes it a super engaging listen, like really fun, as well as technically proficient. The quintet, a little classier, perhaps. Maybe that's the best way to put it. Uh, fraternal twins, possibly, with the older sister here being born first, and then the younger, annoying brother saying, everything you can do, I can do better. That's not true, but I can see him saying that. You know what I mean? So, yeah, the, the quintet is, every time I go back to it, so impressive. Such a great set. $220 regular retail, $150 regular retail. It's younger, it's cuter, and it's less expensive. If you've always wanted a quintet but didn't want to break that $200 barrier, bang, Super Mix 4. Even if you buy the jelly cable and some extra like ear tips of your choice, like I did this little um, exercise where I put the Super Mix 4, a jelly cable, and Divinus Velvet ear tips in my AliExpress cart, $157 US right now. This is during Carnival, which ends in like 12 hours, folks, by the time this posts. So um, you don't have a lot of time. Although the next sales cycle will probably be July 4th, so it's not like you... But I wanted to get this up while the sale was still going on. So that's that's where it's at right now. On its own, but just set, set on its own, I think it's like 133 That's freaking crazy for the quality that you get. Maybe not for the accessories that you get, but for the quality that you get. Um, now, you know, it's, really, it's just the tips and the cable should be offered in a 4.4 only weaknesses of the Super Mix 4 that I can think of. Everything else, sound quality, frequency response, all-rounder, style, fun, energetic, technically very good set, 150 bucks, 130 on sale. I can't see a reason not to get them. I really can't. They did exceptionally well against the 70-ish dollar more Kiwi Ears Quintet. And I love this set. It's a great set. Thanks to Sforzable for the uh, Canera Ace Cable, by the way, who sent me this as a congratulations for 500 subscribers a few weeks ago, a month or so ago. So that was really cool. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm saying it's a go. I'm saying it's a highly recommended. I'm saying if you got the ability to get it now, meaning today, meaning within the next you know, 10 to 12 hours, because that's all that's left in the sale, um, then go for it. Or if you want to save up for a month or two or three and catch the next sales cycles, because they seem to be almost monthly, then go for it then. But yeah, it's 100% worth it. Even at full retail, it's 100% worth it. But wait for, it's on, wait for it to go on sale so you can buy an upgraded cable and you can get some more ear tips and still stay under 160 you should be able to do that that's going to wrap it up for the video i'm like i love this set right now this is like definitely closing in on the top five for me i think it is just an exceptional value it is a joy to listen to it is just really fun but if you're paying attention and you want those technicalities it delivers those two. And the stage, the sound stage is great. Great. Not ISN H30 level, but almost. So if you're a fan of big sound stage, immersive, as much as you can get with IEMs, you're going to be happy with them. All right, beautiful people. That's going to wrap it for this video. Uh, enjoy your weekend. Um, 
Grab a set on sale if you can. If not, get them next time. They'll be there. All right. For now, I love y'all. Nothing but peace to you. And we'll see you soon. Oh, I almost forgot. Comment, sub, enter that signed and give you giveaway for June. Okay? I usually don't ask for subs and comments and stuff like that. But this enrolls you in the giveaway. Free stuff is free stuff. Okay? So if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so now. Drop a comment and you'll be qualified. Perfect. All right. Love y'all. Nothing but peace to you. We'll see you.